the second reason I, I really want to do this is uh, is and I'll admit it's a little bit uh, personal, uh, maybe a little bit even selfish, borderline selfish. Is my grandmother? We, we called her Mama, and the reason she got the name Mama was because when I was a baby, I couldn't say Mama, so I called her Mama, and I called her Mama up until the last day she was on this earth. Mama was an amazing woman because she was my first finance professor. Now I got a PhD, and I went to literally went to school from the age of 18 to 31. Mama was the one who originally introduced me to the idea of financial literacy. She not only uh, talked the talk, but she really walked the walk. When I looked at her life, when I look back on her life and sort of see the choices that she made financially, I really see a woman that really made decisions that uh, if we all model decisions like this and maybe lace this with a little bit of the expertise that I can bring to you, uh, many of us would find ourselves able to obtain our financial Juneteenth. My grandmother, let me tell you a few things about her. Number one, uh, she w was unmarried uh, for most of her life. I think she got married about the age of 15 and got divorced by 19 or something like that. She had uh, five kids that she raised by herself. She never made more than $25,000 a year. She never got a four-year college degree. But despite all of this, uh, she never had to borrow money from anybody. Uh, she always had perfect credit. She owned her own home, she owned her, her car, she, she owned pretty much everything and had it, all her credit cards were empty and everything uh, in her life was perfectly planned financially all the way down to the cardinal red dress that she was buried in on the, the last day that we said goodbye to her. And I looked at her life and I thought about it and I thought back to when I was a kid and I remember when my grandmother used to buy me Christmas gifts. She didn't buy me uh, you know, toys and, and whatever little toys that we, we played with when, when I was little. Uh, she would buy me savings bonds. Savings bonds, now think about that. I mean, how many parents do you know that buy their kids savings bonds at Christmas time? Uh, as opposed to Air Jordans or video games. My grandmother bought me savings bonds. She did that every single Christmas, every single birthday. And that was when I be began to be introduced to the idea of compound interest. Because uh, at that point, uh, I, as a kid, I didn't know anything about what it means to invest money, what it means to allow your money to work for you, or what it means for your money to grow into something bigger than what it was when you first got it. So she would give me a savings bond that, that said $100 on it. And I thought that I was actually getting 100 bucks. But actually, I wasn't getting $100. I was actually getting uh, $50 that she spent on the savings bond. 